Batch pasteurization can be an attractive and inexpensive option for handling small product volumes. Non-alcohol and low-alcohol beers, as well as ciders, should generally be pasteurized. This improvised batch pasteurization setup consists of a modified lap sink, a dedicated CIP tank, two CIP pumps with hoses, a plexiglass cover for the sink, and a thermometer with an optional data recording device. This stainless steel lap sink, which can hold over 200 beer cans or bottles, has been modified and equipped with two tri-clamp fittings. Fill the CIP tank with 200 liters of domestic hot water. Turn the CIP heating units on and warm up the water to 65 degrees Celsius. While the CIP tank is warming, start filling four beer crates with cans. Approximately 48 cans can be placed into one crate. Leave one spot for a can with a temperature probe. Place two crates at the bottom of the sink. Add two more crates on top of them and start filling the sink with hot domestic water. While filling the sink with hot water, connect the bottom of the CIP tank to the inlet of the first CIP pump and the outlet of the pump with the side inlet of the sink. Next, connect the bottom of the sink with the inlet of the second CIP pump and the pump outlet with the top of the CIP tank to complete the pasteurization loop. Once the sink is full of hot water, close the faucet and cover the sink with plexiglass as an important safety precaution. Note that overfilled and overcarbonated cans can burst during the pasteurization process. Turn on the thermometer. After opening the valve at the bottom of the sink and the CIP tank valve, start the CIP pumps and check the water flow and the water level in the sink. Use the CIP pumps to regulate the water flow rate. Once the can temperature reaches 50 degrees Celsius, start the timer and start recording the time temperature data. Continue the pasteurization process until you reached your target temperature and target pasteurization units. After the pasteurization target is reached, Turn off the pumps and close both bottom valves. Disconnect the hose from the second CIP pump inlet. Put the cold water hose in the sink and start the cold water flow. Open the bottom of the sink and start running water to the drain. Make sure to collect and record your time temperature data to be able to calculate the overall pasteurization level or PUs. Check out our video called Beer Pasteurization, How to Calculate PUs for more information on pasteurization and calculating pasteurization units.